Hello viewers, welcome to all. In the previous lecture, that is in lecture 17, I have discussed the income method and components of income method. Today, I shall discuss the expenditure method. The expenditure method. Today, I shall discuss the expenditure method. The alternative name of this expenditure method are number one, final, final expenditure method. Final expenditure method or income disposal income disposal method or Consumption investment method or consumption investment method. So these are the alternative name of expenditure method. Now why is it called as income disposal method? Income disposal method. As we know that production generates income. Production production It generates income and this income give a rise to expenditure this income gives a rise to expenditure Now, what is expenditure? Expenditure means the disposition of income. Disposition of income. Disposition of income. Now, this disposition of income, this disposition of income can be this disposition of income can be taken into two forms. This disposition of income can be taken into two forms. Number one, it can be consumed by it can be either consumed by either consumed by 
household household or or gold or general government that is that is that is called as final annulment that is called as final consumption or final consumption or final expenditure final consumption or final expenditure another one it can be used for creating assets it can be used for creating assets that is that is it can be creating it can be used for creating assets that is capital formation by corporate capital formation by corporate sector or semi corporate sector or quasi semi corporate sector or quasi corporate sector corporate sector or household household sector or government sector that's why this expenditure method is called as income disposal method income disposal method the expenditure method measures the expenditure method measures final consumption expenditure on gross domestic product and market price during an accounting year the expenditure method this expenditure method measures expenditure method measures final consumption expenditure final consumption expenditure final consumption expenditure on 
on gross domestic product and market price that is gdp m that is gdp in all is this is the method in the that on the basis of gross domestic product and market price now the entire income in the economy whatever the income is generated through the productions this entire income in the economy can be utilized by two way can be utilized by two way or can be utilized by two purpose so income income can be utilized by two purpose or two way that is one is consumption purpose consumption purpose and number two is selling purpose selling purpose again again the selling or further invested in production activities the selling or further invested the savings are further invested in production activities so all the savings basically it will be invest for the production purpose so so we can say final expenditure method is called as so we can say so we can say so we can say final expenditure method we can say final expenditure method is all as final expenditure method is called as consumption consumption investment method consumption investment method consumption investment method so this expenditure method can be expressed as this expenditure method can be expressed as but 
it can be expressed expressed as y equal to c plus i plus g plus x minus m expressed as y uh, y equal to c plus i plus g plus x minus m where 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 y equal to national income that means entire income and c means c for c stands for private or household consumption expenditure private or household consumption consumption expenditure expenditure i for i for investment expenditure by the farm the private i for private investment expenditure private private or farms investment expenditure investment expenditure private or farms investment expenditure g for g for government g for government expenditure on consumption or investment purpose g for g for g stands for government government expenditure government expenditure on the purpose of consumption and investment government is minister on the purpose of consumption and investment and x minus n x minus n stands for a net exports net exports Next exports. Exports means net export means the difference between the exports and imports. Exports and imports. So expenditure method is undertaken by all the sectors of an economy. So. So, 
expenditure method is undertaken by all the sectors of the economy. So, expenditure, expenditure method, expenditure method is undertaken is undertaken by is undertaken by all the sectors of an equal like as like as households households sector farm sectors farm sectors government sectors government sectors government sectors or foreign sectors foreign sectors so this overall sectors this overall sectors of an economy can be divided in various components of expenditure method so i will come to now i will come to the components of expenditure method components of expenditure method components of expenditure method components components of expenditure method. basically the expenditure method can be divided into three main components three main components can be divided into three main components. Number one is final consumption expenditure. Final consumption expenditure. Number two, gross domestic gross domestic gross domestic capital formation and mixed income of self-employed not mixed self-employed employed the third component is net exports third component is net So these are the three main components. One is final financial expenditure, gross domestic capital formation, and net exports. This final consumption expenditure again divided into two categories. Again in two categories. Number one is private final financial expenditure. Private Final consumption expenditure expenditure 
and Gaurave Final Infinity. Gaurave Final Conjunction Experience. These are the two main components of final conjunction expenditure. Again, this domestic, gross domestic capital foundation are divided into two categories, are divided into two categories. One is gross domestic fixed capital foundation. Gross domestic fixed capital funds capital funds and number two component is change in stock or inventory investment change in change in stock or inventory investment and this change stock again divided in two categories one is opening stock opening stock and closing stock closing stock opening stock and closing stock but whenever you have to calculate the value of change stock on the time, always it will be different between closing stock minus opening stock. That is, that is, change in stock is equal to closing stock minus opening. Always you have to remember this point. Change in stock means the difference between the closing stock minus closing stock and opening stock. And third point is net exports. The net exports basically divided into two categories. That is exports and number two imports exports and imports so net exports is equal to what net exports is equal to exports minus imports now i will come to this point private final balance expenditure government final balance expenditure Gross domestic capital formation, change in stock, and net exports. Now, what is final consumption expenditure? Final consumption expenditure measures the market value of goods and services. Private final consumption consumption expenditure measures the measures the final goods and services. Final goods and services. Purchased by household during a given period of time. This is final consumption expenditure. It consists of purchase of durable goods, purchase of semi-durable goods, purchase of non-durable goods and services, etc. By the consumer. Number two. Wages and salaries received in kind. Wages and salaries received in kind is a, it is a part of final financial expenditure. Number three, gift received in kind. That means whenever the gifts will be received by some one person, then it will be considered a final financial expenditure. And imported, imputed rate. Imputed rate of owner occupied houses. Imputed rate is also a part of the 
if you the rent is a rent of owner in the rent of owner of houses are part of private final consumption expenditure next i will talk to this government final consumption expenditure government final consumption expenditure it includes gross this government final consumption expenditure it includes it includes you know the government final consumption expenditure actually is incurred by government final consumption expenditure is incurred by incurred by general government to satisfy the collective wants of the people to satisfy the collective wants of the people like as like as or example of government expenditure on health expenditure government expenditure on education government expenditure on national security government expenditure by law and order etc all these are the part of government final consumption expenditure next i will come to this gross domestic gross domestic capital produce gross domestic capital produce this gross domestic capital produce consists of two parts one is gross domestic fixed capital produce and change in stock the what is gross domestic fixed capital produce gross domestic fixed capital produce it is a expenditure on the following three items this is included or this is consist of three following items what is this three following items number 1 number 1 is gross business fixed gross business fixed capital production gross business fixed capital production or gross business fixed investment these are the components components is consist of three items number 1 gross business fixed investment number 1 gross business gross business fixed investment gross business fixed investment it is defined as expenditure on fixed assets it is defined as expenditure on fixed assets like as fixed assets like as machinery equipment factory buildings etc number 2 gross public investment gross public public investment gross public investment means what gross public investment it is the expenditure by government on hospital on hospital school dams bridge is it or here fixed assets this one is this one is machinery equipment factory buildings factory buildings is it all these are the example of gross business fixed investment number two gross public investment that is expenditure on uh, hospitals schools dam bridge etc and third point third point 
is third point is gross residential construction investment gross residential gross residential gross residential construction investment construction construction investment that means expenditure expenditure on the construction of parks expenditure on the construction of houses etc example on expenditure on construction of flats construction expenditure 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 on construction of residential houses residential houses is it so these are the main part of gross domestic fixed capital products gross domestic fixed capital products and next i will come to the change in stock change in stock already i have told you the difference between the closing stock and opening stock and net exports already i have discussed that net exports means the difference between the exports and imports so this is the overall concept of expenditure method on the basis of these components these are called whatever the components we are already uh, we have already established we have already uh, constructed in this diagram all if we add all these components then we get this gdp market price gdp market price so sum of all the components of the expenditure method is called as gdp market price so this is the overall concept of expenditure method on the next day i will uh, solve some problems which are related to the income method and expenditure method okay so this is the end of the class thank you